more recently, yes. Yeah. So once I discovered that subconsciously, I was really focused on empowerment, be, uh, coming from a place where I dealt a lot with depression and anxiety. Um, I mentioned before that after the, the earthquake in Haiti, I became more aware of the fact that my poetry could change lives. Um, not just my poetry, but my writing in general could have a positive impact on people who felt they were voiceless. So um, at that point, of course, I didn't know what I wanted to talk about specifically. My, my first book is about um, growing up in Haiti in, a, in an abusive home, but um, also in a country that doesn't hold uh, the punches when it comes to forcing you to grow up early, very early. So for a little while, I really focused on talking about my experience growing up in a complicated um, home. But later on, I wanted mostly to talk about um, the implications. And um, I'm sure that part of my anxiety comes from growing up in a place like this. But part of it is definitely um, physiological as opposed to um, environmental and yeah these days I definitely I'm definitely more vocal about talking about my experience with depression um, bringing a message of empowerment so that people can think about things that they can do to live a better life because um, a, a, a lot of Helplessness comes with suffering from mental illness, but there are things that we can control. And how do we go about controlling those things? I think that's the main message of Happy Okay.